Another question we're commonly asked is what are the different rates of absorption of nutrients, particularly in hydroponics? Now, D DWC stands for deep water culture. That's classic liquid hydroponics. The plants have, the roots have plenty of room to spread out. And we use deep water culture all the time in this laboratory. And in fact, all of our studies, our funding by NASA is what can we do so we never have to discard any solution? How do we manage it to get that? So I'm gonna put the fast nutrients here and the slow nutrients here. There's four elements that are lightning fast compared to everything else. And they are nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and manganese, the micronutrient manganese, NPK manganese. Those are absorbed like lightning because all plants evolved to get these as fast as they can because they're so limiting in uh, nature. So if we make a graph of these, and here's days on this axis, and we have N, P, K, manganese here, and here's zero. We start up here, up, I've changed the color. Let's put this in purple. These things look like this. They're very quickly removed, depending on the volume of solution. This can be, I'm, I'm gonna say one day, and it looks like they're gone. You panic, oh my goodness, these are at zero. So where do you think they went? They went into the plant where we want them. So these four elements, we want to maintain them at very low levels in the nutrient solution because the plant takes them up so fast. I see people all the time panicking and they dump more in and then they're depleted and they panic again and they dump more in. And guess what? They get toxic levels of these elements in the plant because they monitor the nutrient solution and you don't need to keep these in high levels. What we should do with these is, and let's put this in yet another color, add a little, it's taken out, add a little. We should be managing these like this. Every time you water, add small amounts and the plant takes it out in solution. For this reason, you can be very misleading to monitor nutrient solutions for the, these four elements because they're taken out so fast. It's sort of like feeding a dog. You feed it all its food, boom, it eats it. And you say, well, it must be hungry and feed it again. Pretty soon your dog's so fat it lays in its back with its paws in the air. It's, it ate too much. So for these elements, you have to be careful not to keep them from going too high. Now, let's take on the other side of this all the other elements. And these elements, here's a classic one, calcium, two plus days here. Zero, I don't know, let's put uh, 100 days out here. Calcium is passively absorbed, it goes in with the water. So calcium looks like that, a very different line than these. Um, this one, we, we keep replacing this like this um, to give it more calcium. Um, these are at much higher levels in the solution. Calcium is famous for being passively absorbed by plants. All the other elements are over here. Um, amazing enough, with cannabis, we have evidence that the calcium is taken up very quickly. So even calcium, we have to be careful not to have too high a levels in the root zone. Calcium in the leaves is optimal at about two to 3%. We've had cannabis leaves that test to 10% calcium. That can't be good for the plant. It's, it's way more than the plant needs. But as a rule of thumb, the fastest right here and the slowest is everything else really over here. Sulfate is slow, slower, and manganese, magnesium, slower. Pretty much everything else is over here. How fast until the solution is unbalanced? Well, if you 
feed it properly, you're irrigating with nutrient solution every time it's balanced when you fertilize. You don't have to monitor what's in the root zone, you're feeding it a balanced solution right from the start. So that's a different concept than monitoring the root zone like here and then panicking. Just put on the right feed and stick with the program.